Hello from Fine Arts. Today we're going to make a jellyfish. And you have the freedom to add anything extra you want to your art, like a turtle or maybe a seahorse. You are the artist, so you get to decide. First thing we're going to do is draw our pink jellyfish. And then I'm going to teach you how to draw another type of jellyfish, this yellow one over here. So you can pick which one you like. Now, uh, you're going to work with a pencil and an eraser in case you want to um, erase. I'm going to use a sharpie so you can see what I'm drawing. All right, the first thing we're going to do is the, the top of the jellyfish, which is called a bell, and it looks like an umbrella shape. So again, you're using a pencil. I'm going to use a sharpie so you can see what I'm doing. So you're going to start with a curved line kind of like an umbrella. And then down here, you see this curve, these curves, these are like little bubbles. So you're gonna connect one to the other and you're just gonna make those little bubbles, okay? And then the center of the jellyfish, this thing right here, are the oral arms. And so I'm gonna start kind of with the, cent the center and I'm gonna draw a rectangle, but it's a curved rectangle, like that. And then I'm gonna draw one on the, the left side, and I'm gonna draw one on the right side, okay? And notice these um, oral arms kind of taper in, they get smaller, and if you look at the shape, it kind of makes like, um, it comes in kind of like a triangle shape. So I started with three, I'm gonna go down to two, so I'm gonna do the same type of thing, but they're gonna get a little bit smaller. There's one, two, and then I'm gonna do two more, but they're a little bit smaller. One, two, and then I'm gonna finish with one. Okay, now we wanna add the tentacles, and that are these big, long arms. So you're just gonna be free with it. Start under this umbrella shape, and we're gonna do like a curvy line like that. And on the side of the tentacles, we add these bubbles all the way down. So here we go, bubble, bubble, all the way down. Just be free with it. There we go, there's one. Okay, we're gonna do another big one. Here we go, curved line. There is no wrong way to do this. Here we go. Okay, over on the other side, do another long one. There we go. And then on this side, maybe a smaller one. Here we go. Okay, and then all of these other um, tentacles are going to be drawn in with oil pastels. So this is how you draw the pink um, jellyfish. Now, I want to show you how to draw a jellyfish another way. So you're going to take your paper, and that was just practice, and you're going to flip it over, okay? And you're going to flip it over, and you're going to draw this other jellyfish on the back using your pencil. So then you can decide which one you like better. Okay, I'm going to set this one aside, and because I'm using a Sharpie, you can see through it. So I'm going to grab another paper. All right, so I'm going to show you how to draw this one um, so you can kind of decide. So again, we're starting with this curved line and it's like an umbrella shape, just like that. And then we're going to connect from one side to the other with a wiggle line, wiggle, wiggle, just like that. And then over here on the top, this is like, looks like a crescent moon, but um, we're going to start with kind of like the letter C and then connect it around to make it look like um, a crescent moon. Okay, now take a look here at the oral arms. So it's a big curvy line, and again, it comes down um, to a point, and just be free with it. So we're gonna do wiggle, 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 all the way down, and then I'm gonna do the other one, and this time it's gonna connect, okay? And so it's gonna connect in. Ready, here we go. Just be free with it, get smaller, smaller, there we go. Okay, then on the inside, we're gonna add some wiggle lines. Some of them are gonna be little, some of them are gonna be bigger. Just go with it, whatever you decide. Okay, just a few wiggles like that. 
Okay, and then the tentacles are different than this one. I just want to give you a little bit of variety. So this one is just a straight line that's curvy. And maybe here's another one. And here is another one. And then there we go. All right, there we go. Another curved line just like that. Okay, now that you have two different jellyfish and you're gonna decide which one you like better, okay? And you're gonna glue that on your frame. Okay, so let me remind you how you're going to do that. So you're gonna get your frame paper and so whichever one you like, you are going to put the glue on the side you don't like. Okay, so here is our frame, and let's see, it is hard to decide. I think I'm going to glue this one down. Oh, I like that one. And so that means my glue would be on this side. So here we go, I'm going to turn it over. And remember, when we do our glue, you take the cap off, you twist it for our mason jar, set it down, take the lid off. Be careful not to get the glue on you. Put that there. Let's move this one aside. Okay, now for our gluing, you're gonna dip it in your glue with your glue brush. And remember, you're gonna go across. And remember, you don't need a lot of glue. Then we're gonna go down. So we're making a rectangle with our glue. Okay, across and down. So this is a big skinny rectangle. And I, here we go. I chose this size of paper because it helps make the jellyfish look longer. Okay, now set the glue brush there. And then take your paper over, make it um, centered like that. And then you take your hands and you're gonna push those air bubbles out. Nice and gentle, just like that. Okay. And then you're gonna turn in your glue brush. Remember, you're gonna take your glue brush, you're gonna go put it in the mini hot tub and take the glue, put it back on, twist it and go put the glue, return the glue and return the glue brush. Okay, the next step is, first of all, looking at your drawing guide. So you have a drawing guide with um, lots of different amazing ocean characters. And you also have the back that has the steps for the jellyfish, okay, which you have in front of you. Um, so you're going to get your Sharpie and you're gonna go over your jellyfish with your Sharpie, okay? I already have that step done, but you used a pencil. Then you are gonna get to decide um, if there are any other ocean animals that you want to add to your drawing. Now, I have one done for me, so let me just show you. Did an extra one. Okay, so you can see that I added um, some extra things. So once you go over your jellyfish with your Sharpie, if there's any other special things you want to add, you can do that. Now, um, in the classroom, I'm gonna have extra um, drawing guides for you. So let me just show you what the choices are so you know what to look for. So after you're done going over your jellyfish with a Sharpie, you can go and get one of these drawings. So here are the ones. You can choose a starfish. Now if you want the steps on how to draw a starfish, you would open it up and then just take this little drawing guide back to your seat you draw your starfish, and when you're done, you will put this back in the folder, okay? If you want steps on how to draw this cute starfish. Um, I'm gonna ask that you only pick one thing at a time. So when you're done with the starfish, you would put it back. If there's something else you want, you go back to the table and choose something else. So I have a starfish example, jellyfish example, hammerhead shark, seahorse, clownfish, and I have another clownfish. So these ones are just a little bit different. I, I liked both of them. And again, you would open up the folder, grab the small little steps on how to do it, and take it back to your seat. I have a blowfish, 
and there's three different cute little fish. I did use these ones, um, these steps on my example. An angel fish, so beautiful. My favorite, a sea turtle. And then you can also add different types of seaweed. So this drawing guide shows you how to do the kelp, green seaweed, red seaweed, um, or you can add coral, stag coral, brain coral, ooh, that's funny, fan coral. Um, if you wanted to add a dolphin, I did print those for you. And there's an orca whale or a shark or a humpback whale. Another little angelfish, this one might be a little bit easier, a manatee, an octopus, a stingray, a seal, and a narwhal. So many choices. So again, you don't need a whole bunch, but this is for those of you that want to do something extra, okay? Now you can see that I did some extra fish in this one, and I did extra things in this one, okay? So you get to decide. So you're going to draw everything so it looks filled, okay? And then the next step is to get your oil pastels. So let me get those. And there are lots of choices with the oil pastels on the back table, so you will grab a cup and pick whichever colors you want because we're going to do the oil pastels before we paint. Okay? So I'm going to just demonstrate how to do that. Let's make sure you can still see what I'm doing. Oh, good. Let's move this over. So I'm going to um, start with this jellyfish. So I use lots of different colors. I might do this one a little bit different, actually. I think I'm going to use my oranges. So for this on the bell, I'm going to start with a circle here. And I picked a fluorescent orange. And then that's going to come down to the side. These lines are going to come out very smooth. And this is going to start to give it a little bit of dimension. Looks like that. Okay, and then I might pick up another orange color and shade these in around it. Okay, maybe I want to make this dark. Here we go. So essentially the oil pastels are kind of like a crayon, except they're made out of, they're oils, they're not made out of wax. Okay, and then down here I want to color in the back of this. So this jellyfish fish looks more um, three-dimensional. Okay, I'm going to go back to that um, fluorescent orange, and I'm going to go over these tentacles because we are going to be painting with liquid watercolor. So you want to outline everything that you drew. Just have fun with it. You are the artist. Okay, maybe I'll do a few of these. I just remember seeing the jellyfish in Monterey at the aquarium and they were bright orange and so beautiful. Okay, so now I'm gonna cover some more of these. Fill in some of those. So I just chose orange for this one, but you can do yours any way you want. I will be showing you in class different kinds of jellyfish. Okay, beautiful. Then you get to um, you know, do it however you want. So maybe I'll do it. This one down here. I made a miniature jellyfish also. Maybe I will switch it up and do this one different kinds of pinks. So let's see. So I'm going to do some lines in this one. Just like that. And then grab that fluorescent pink. Go 
glue it in. Go. And maybe a couple of these. There we go. Okay, and then I'm thinking, ooh, I think I want a purple seahorse. So I'm going to go ahead and color the seahorse. Maybe I want to do more than one color. And I'm leaving some white areas because um, when we paint with a liquid watercolor, it will fill it in a little bit. Um, it's going to look so beautiful. Okay, and then, oh, that beautiful turtle. Let me look at this again. So, yes, I'm going to um, do my sea turtle green, my favorite fluorescent green. Let's do that. Let's do the shell fluorescent green. And again, if you want to do a turtle, go get that drawing guide. And then maybe I will do the arms and legs a darker, darker green. This one's more of a Kelly green, actually. There's no wrong way to do this. Okay. Oh, my little puffer fish. Okay, I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to do that a mix of yellows. Why not? I'm going to maybe leave the eyes white. Okay. And this special fish. I'm just trying to change it up. Let's do... Well, maybe I will do this starfish. Hmm. I'll do this one orange. And I will highlight it with the fluorescent. Go. And another little fish. Oh my goodness. So cute. A little bit of purple. And maybe a little bit of blue. And this one, maybe I'll do this one. A little bit of green. Getting ready for summer. And maybe, I guess I'm liking orange today. Maybe there's some orange and yellow on there. And you can mix your oil pastels, they blend really nicely. Orange and yellow make amber. That's my name. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And oh, I forgot, I added little bubbles to mine. So I'm gonna get the oil pastel, just fill in the bubbles. And finally, oh, these cute little fish. Let's not forget those. Okay, so then you're gonna put your oil pastels back. Um, you're going to return them back to the back table. And then you will get set up for painting. So I'm going to put paint at your table. And today we're doing liquid watercolor. And so you'll have lots of choices to choose from. So you're going to take the cap off, twist it. And this is liquid, so be careful. Um, so this is a turquoise teal color. And this is a blue. So these are just two examples. You're going to get your water. You're going to get your washcloth. And then you're also going to get your brush. Okay. And the ocean has different colors in it. So the top of the ocean is lighter because of the sunlight. The bottom of the ocean is darker because there's not as much light. So you can change the value. You can see that up here I used some teals, some blues, and then if you're wondering, how did I get all these little dots? Well, that was done with salt. So that is the next thing that we'll do after we do this. All right, so 
just have fun with it. And let me grab my washcloth. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to just start with the turquoise at the top, dip it in, and go for it. Okay, and notice I'm adding some water. Look at that. So beautiful. I'm adding some water to it to make it lighter at the top. So you're going to paint right over um, your oil pastels, okay? And this was a little bit darker, fill that in. So you can see that it kind of changes the color just a little bit. Let's see, watch I do this again. So a little bit of paint and then add some water. Here we go. Okay. A little bit of paint. Gorgeous. Then add some water. Okay. Then then we're going to switch to the other color. Okay, so dip it in the water, wipe it on the washcloth. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my darker blue and come down here. Yes, look at that. Gorgeous. Because it is darker on the bottom of the ocean. I've actually been diving down 60 feet and it's really dark. Many years ago, okay. Ooh, look how that dark blue changed it. Gorgeous. One more, there it goes. Gorgeous. Okay, so you're gonna cover the entire white paper so it looks like the ocean. Okay, a bit of water to kind of blend those in. And maybe I wanna add a little bit of darker over here, just to just kind of mix the colors just because the ocean isn't always the same color. Okay, gorgeous. Now, um, you will put the lids back on your paint when everybody's done, and you will have other colors besides turquoise, blue, there will be greens. If you wanted to add the green and the blue, there'll be magenta and purples also um, to change it up. The final step is gonna be to come see me, and I will put some salt on your painting. Okay, and this is pink Himalayan salt. Let's see, oh, here we go. A little bit of a twist. And I'm just gonna let the salt, the salt's gonna change the paint. So we're just gonna, just gonna add some of these things to it. So we're just gonna let that sit. And then in about 10 minutes or 15 minutes, it'll be dry and they'll be able to brush the salt off. Oh, you could start to see the magic happen. Look at that. It's gonna look like, um, you see the little ones, little bubbles. And you could do this with regular salt also. Um, I noticed the pink Himalayan salt kind of made them a little bit bigger, so I like that. All right, I hope you had fun in fine arts today. Happy summer. This is officially your last art lesson until next year. So I hope that you guys have a fantastic summer and I can't wait to see you um, next school year. Until then, bye everybody.